Hey there, it's Becky Murdoch, and this video is to show you how to create a Facebook party event in your back office. So you'll go to 31today.com, you'll sign in with your username and your password, and that'll log you in. That's gonna take you to the front of your uh, 31 Today site. And most of the stuff that we're gonna do is gonna be in our virtual office, which is right up here. So you'll click on virtual office. You'll have these tabs at the top right here. You'll click on parties and that'll take you to where all of your open parties are. If you, if you don't have any parties yet, then this whole area will be blank. Um, you're gonna click new party, and we're gonna pretend that my friend Susie, I'm creating her face or her event. So I'm just gonna type in Susie's Facebook party. The party description, I usually leave blank, um, but you can totally put something there as well. Then the type of party it is, this is where you select your um, party format. So because it's on Facebook, this is an online party. The closing date, I typically keep my parties only open for about a day or two after the actual event. So if they partied on, if the Facebook party event is on Monday, August 1st, then I'll just put a closing date of August 3rd. Um, and then the host of the party, this is where you type in all of the hostess information. Um, so I already created Susie What's Her Face's profile. Um, this is letting me choose the tax rate in the city, the exact city, just verifying the city. So you type in her email address and the phone number, her address, uh, and then it'll pop up the city and county, the tax rate, and then you click save and continue. That's just updating the contact that I have in the back office is now getting a party so it stays um, on her file. And then this is where I can verify everything. So I verified that it's an online party, that I'm gonna end it on August the 3rd. And then the party ship selection, I have two choices. If it's a local party, and I usually do this for my home parties, and you'll see that in another video, I ship it to consultant, I ship it to me, so I can go through the orders and those types of things. But because Susie lives out of area for me, I'm gonna have it sent to the hostess. Most of my Facebook parties I have sent to the hostess. And then this, little guy right here is really really important um, show on your site so if i don't want to show the party on my site let's say i'm already working ahead until like october and november parties then i can just unclick this and go back and click it at a later time but if i want people to be able to shop from my 31 site on her party then i click show on her site on my site this just verifies all the information. This is the party link, and then I save and update. This is the party link that then I can right click, and then I copy the link address, and I'll send it to Susie and let her know that that's how people who aren't on Facebook can shop um, to help her earn rewards. And then um, over here, the hostess, if you click on this, Again, this just gives me the opportunity to verify all of her information, that it's going to the right place. Um, the hostess portal, if you use the hostess portal, this is the information for that. You can send her that login. And then I always just save an update every time I uh, I'm looking at something just to make sure that everything's there and exactly where I want it to be. So that is how you create a party event uh, for Facebook in your back office.